Welcome to the How To Studio. So if you go to Windows Update and you're seeing this message that says something went wrong, try to reopen settings later. If you're seeing this error message and you wanted to do some settings update in your Windows Update, but you can't because um, you're seeing this error message, I'm going to show you a solution to fix this. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your search bar and you want to type services and then you're going to open the app you're going to scroll down to where it says update orchestrator services and you're going to click open this and right now it's set to disabled um, so if it's set to disabled, this is the reason why you're seeing something went wrong, try to reopen settings later. That's the reason for you seeing that. So what you need to do is you need to enable it. And if we read the description, it says this manages Windows update. If stopped, your device will not be able to download and install the latest updates. So this is the, the, the reason for the problem. And I just want to let you know that I intentionally turned this off. I disabled it because I didn't want Windows to download and, and install updates on my computer. And if you want to have Windows not be able to download and install updates on your computer, this is one of the settings that you should disable. And I do have a video showing you some other settings that you should disable so that Windows doesn't update on your computer. You should see that video in the top right hand corner of your screen. If you're like me and you don't like Windows update, yeah these are the tricks to do but since i do want to make some changes right now in my windows update this setting is preventing me from making those changes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change this from disable to manual you can change it to automatic or anything else but i'm going to change it to manual right now because after i'm finished doing what i'm doing i'm going to disable it again because i don't like windows updates but that's just me um, so you change it to manual or automatic if you'd like and then you click on apply and OK and then that should change it from disabled. So now if I go back in my Windows update, um, I'm just going to click somewhere else to refresh this. And now I'm going to click back on Windows update and it should be fixed. So now, as you can see, I can now see the settings on my Windows update. So just by um, updating the settings here, that's what was preventing me from seeing the Windows updates here. So I hope this video was helpful for you. This is just one of the solutions and this is the fastest and easiest solution without having to do any type of coding. So if this worked for you, please give this video a thumbs up and also please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.